It's lesson time, yeah, lesson time. Eureka Math, grade four, module six, lesson one. Let's do it, y'all, here we go. All right, what are we doing here? We're going to use metric measurement. So metric, so we're talking about, what's that, metric, oh, like centimeters, meters, liters, okay, remember that? Grams, kilograms, okay, the metric measurement. To model the decomposition, Remember, decomposition means what? All right, breaking it down, right? When you take numbers and break them down in different ways of one whole into tenths. So here we are embarking on the world of decimals, and I think you're going to find this pretty straightforward. Let's dig in. Okay, so there is a sprint. So if you are going to do the sprint, go ahead and pause and do it. There's a side A and a side B. Mark your number correct and how much you improved when you get to side B. But as for I, we're going to plunge ahead. Let's do it. All right, so now, when I say say the whole, look right here. Ah, yeah, see, so what is the whole bar, the whole tape measure here? It's 20. Its value is 20, the whole thing. And I've divided it into 10 parts here. So the whole is 20 divided into, right, 10 parts. So now, how would I express that as division? Okay, well, let's look at this first one together. So don't worry about answering. Okay, so I'm taking 20, dividing it into 10 parts, and there's two in each part. So 20 divided by 10 equals two. Okay, good. Now we understand how this works. So now if I say, all right, let's jump right to what's the division sense? Well, the whole is 200. Again, divide into 10 parts. That's what we'll be doing. You see up top it says divide by 10. So 200 divided by 10 is, yes, you see each part is 20. Okay, so think about it. 200 divided into 10 parts, each part is 20. So if I had $200, woohoo, $200, oh, and I wanted to share it with 10 people because I'm feeling generous, I'd give them each a $20 bill, right? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, okay? I'd handed out those uh, 10 $20 bills, $200 and all. You see, I can work it backwards there as multiplication. Did you catch that? All right, so 200, we see here is the whole, divided by 10 is 20. All right, so now we get the idea. So now if we see this, oh, oh, at first you said, whoa, whoa, this is different, but it's not, it is the same. Yeah, it's 240 divided by 10. Every time here we're dividing by 10. 240 divided by 10 is 24. Ah, okay, is that making sense? Good. 240 divided by 10 is 24. Okay, so now 400 divided by 10. Yes, yes, we could see it's 40. Does this bring to mind something that we did oh so long ago, way back? In yonder age gone by, in module one, that's right, we were doing this, we were writing the times 10 slide and back down the divided by 10 slide. That's exactly, exactly, absolutely smurfly what we are doing right here. We're taking 400 divided by 10 is 40. You, can you picture that place value chart in your mind? Ones, tens, hundreds, four dots in the hundreds place. Divided by 10, they go down to the tens place. Ah. The circle is complete. All right, so uh, now 430 divided by 10, 43. Okay, you're getting faster at this. All right, hey, 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 don't try to show off. All right, 850 divided by 10, 85. Okay, good, we see how it works. 8,500 divided by 10, 850. You're like, the answer's staring me in the face, Mr. McGrath. Yes, it is. All right, so 8,500. Picture that time that times 10 slide, that divided by 10, going down the place value chart there, 850. We can do it with this number as well, can't we? 8,570, again, divided into 10 parts, 857. All right, 6,280 divided by 10, 628. You see how this works? It's beautiful, I love it. Okay, so let's go on then. <laughs> now that that's easy, let's do something else. I can compose, yes you can, and decompose one kilogram representing tenths in fraction form and decimal form. Let's try that, okay? 
All right, so we're going to put tenths in fraction form and decimal form. And, and this is what makes decimal so straightforward is that you work so hard, so hard through it, like 41 lessons on fractions. And now, it, whew, now you get the big payoff. Here we go. All right, so here's a scale. Isn't it cute? I think so. And we're going to put cute little bags of rice on our cute little scale. There's one. And it weighs... Now, you might be tempted to say one kilogram, but you see there's that zero, and then the decimal point, and then the one. Ah, so it weighs one-tenth kilogram, and that is the uh, mathematically correct way of saying that. You say one-tenth kilogram. Sometimes I, and you, and your mama too, might say one-tenth of a kilogram, and that's not necessarily wrong, but the mathematically proper way is one-tenth kilogram. All right. Hey, got more rice? Got rice? Got rice? Here we go. 2 tenths kilogram, count with me, 3 tenths kilogram, 4 tenths kilogram, 5 tenths kilogram, 6 tenths kilogram, 7 tenths kilogram, the excitement is mounting, isn't it? 8 tenths kilogram, 9 tenths kilogram, uh-oh, now what? <laughs> oh, evil laugh, all right. Yeah, you, you would be correct to say 10 tenths, wouldn't you? 10 tenths kilogram, but that's, ah, one whole. Picture the fraction in your mind, 10 tenths. Is 10 over 10, isn't that equal to one? One kilogram. We could also say, we could say 10 tenths kilogram, that would be correct, and also one kilogram. All right, so how much do all 10 bags of rice weigh? One kilogram would be a good answer. So if we make a tape diagram now, okay, so we're gonna show the 10 equal parts that make up this kilogram, right? So there's a nice, ooh, look at that tape. It's beautiful. The whole thing is what? One kilogram divided into 10 parts. Aha, is this reminiscent of what we started off doing? Yes, it is. So each one is one tenth. See, so here we go. There's a bag of rice. What's the fractional part of the whole kilogram, that one bag of rice? It's one tenth. Oh my goodness, you just made the connection. We say the same thing in decimal form as we do in fraction form. I'm frothing at the mouth, I'm so excited. One tenth kilogram, one tenth. We say fraction, one tenth. You see the fraction, one tenth. You see the decimal, one tenth. Woo, it's the same thing. We say the same thing. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Okay, you see how we write it as a fraction now? We write it as one over 10, one fraction bar 10. Numerator, denominator, remember all that? Okay, one-tenth. And then there as a decimal one-tenth, we also say, but it's 0 0.1. And so I'll make this distinction right here. Um, sometimes I'll say, how do we write this decimal? And we'd say 0 0.1 because I'm describing how to write it. But when we read this as a math number, we'd say one-tenth. We just kind of like leave the zero out of it. We just say one-tenth. There's a one in the tenths place. Okay, so there's a distinction there. How do we write it? How do we read it? All right, so now, what's going on here? Yeah, two-tenths kilogram. Fraction form, decimal form, same value. Oh, chills. Let's keep going. Three-tenths, four-tenths kilogram, five-tenths, six-tenths, seven-tenths, eight-tenths, nine-tenths, and again, yes, ten-tenths. Or I could say one kilogram. Boy, the world's a beautiful place right now, isn't it? All right, so one-tenth, see I wrote it in word form there, it equals fraction form one-tenth, decimal form one-tenth. Those are equivalencies. One-tenth equals one-tenth equals one-tenth is how you'd read that. All right. <gasps> Holy number lines, Batman! What are we going to do here? Well, look, we have uh, going from zero tenths up to ten tenths in fraction form. Oh, and there they are in decimal form, okay? Those are all equivalents. See, look, pick one out. Eight tenths is eight tenths, right? All right, so now look, what be this here? Now, you might be tempted to say a yardstick, and you'd uh, be very close, but it is a, a meter stick, okay? Because remember, we're doing the metric thing. So two-tenths, so now we're going from grams and kilograms, a measure of weight, to a length measurement. We're going to deal with meters, and we might even have a guest visit, a cameo appearance from centimeters. All right, so two-tenths meter plus one-tenth meter equals what? Well, where did we end up on our happy little hopping number line? That's right, three-tenths meter. Easy so far. Guess what you just did? 
you just learned how to read decimals, find decimal fractional equivalents, and even how to add decimals. You are a superstar. Gah! Love it. All right. Four tenths meter plus three tenths meter is... Dang, you good at this. Seven tenths meter. All right. Two tenths meter. Oh, I'm going to throw you a curveball. You know it just when you start to get good. Two tenths meter plus eight tenths meter. Okay, we could say either 10 tenths meter or one meter. And notice I write it as 1.0, but I would read that in decimal form as one meter. Or you could say 10 tenths, that would be technically correct. Oh my goodness, now we're gonna do subtraction. Amazing. Seven tenths meter minus six tenths meter leaves. There it is, your hands are staring in your face. One tenth meter, beautiful. How about starting from 5 tenths meter minus 3 tenths meter, 2 tenths meter. You can see it. It's right there. Beautiful. All right, so now here's the problem set. Um, and I'm not going to do this whole thing with you. What I'll do with the problem set and the exit ticket is just kind of like flow right through it with you just to kind of show it to you. And if you're going to go do it yourself, then great, go do that. Um, and then, of course, there are the homework time videos when we get to that. So don't forget first to write your name and your date up here, like that. Okay. So um, what you're doing here is what we did before with the tape diagram. And it, your instructions here are the first seven units. So you're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units. Label the whole number line. And then wet and neighbor both in... Uh, decimal form on top and then fractional form on bottom and then circle the one that represents the shaded part. Well, they already told you it's the first seven units. Okay. All right. And now this is kind of neat. Um, although the last one begs a little explanation. Okay. So this one liter bottle is filled halfway up, right? Five tenths liter. And notice, by the way, I'll point this out many times that the liter abbreviation is a capital L so as to discern it from the number one. So five tenths liter, say it with me, five tenths liter. How would I write that as a fraction? Five up here in the numerator, 10 down here. I often have students write five tenths in this one box, but the five goes here, the 10 goes here. I know I'm giving you answers, but I'm showing you how to do this because it could be confusing otherwise. And then here, oh no, I'm sorry, I take that back. Totally wrong. <laughs> Suck the words back in my mouth. I, I jumped the gun. Look, you actually, you actually have to pay attention sometimes. Look at that. Even the teacher must learn. One, two, three, four, five, six. See, so if you wrote down that answer, you was wrong right along with me. It is six tenths that it's filled to. My apologies. So it would be six tenths liter, which we then write as six tenths liter in decimal form as well. And this one, we're going to be a little more careful. Yes, we could go backwards and say nine, eight, but we can count up as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tenths liter, eight tenths liter. Now this one, you're doing backwards. You might be tempted to say, oh, there's zero tenths liter there, right? Uh, but what they want you to do is, per instruction, shade the last bottle to show the correct amount. So here's the correct amount. It's over here at the end. Nine tenths liter, right, as a fraction. Nine tenths liter, and then shade up to nine tenths of a liter. Okay, so that's what you're doing there. Um, here you're just writing the in a fraction or decimal form. So here they tell you in decimal form, right? And you'd write the fraction. Here they tell you fraction form, you'd write the decimal. And here they're a little tricky about it. They have a, uh, instead of a digital scale, a mechanical scale, I guess you call it. Look that up, post it in the comments if you know what that's called. So, uh, so there's 5 tenths kilogram there. So four, three, two, or we can count up from zero, zero, one tenth, two tenths. So this is at two tenths kilogram. Okay. And, uh, and I'm going to ask you to write it in both fraction and decimal form for this last one, because here they give it to one and you write it the other. So in this one, write it in both. Oh, stop whining. You'd be done with it already. All right. Um, notice ladybug's buttocks are aligned with the zero. That's important. Okay. So you know, you are measuring correctly. Um, and you look at her head there and it's lined with this line. So each of these 
lines is one tenth of a centimeter. This one here is one centimeter. So for example, this first line would be one tenth centimeter. The next line would be two tenth centimeter. So they wanted to say, you know, how big is the bug? How, what's her length? How long is she in fraction form and decimal form, which you can see right there. She comes to that long mark in case your copy you're looking at isn't too clear. Now, how does she, uh, how far does she need to walk before her nose? <laughs> see, I said buttocks and, and they're saying she has a nose. I don't know. Do ladybugs have noses? Do they have buttocks? I leave it to you to research, post it in the comments. Um, before its nose is at the one centimeter mark, well, it's currently here. Right, and so how many more? So you're basically counting like on a number line. Um, and note that this should be a fraction or a decimal. I would use a decimal because generally when you are talking about centimeters and meters, metric system, use decimals, not fractions. Um, so this should not be like six or five or three centimeters. It should be something like three tenths, five tenths, six tenths, nine tenths, that it should be in decimal form. Okay, now, here you're doing the uh, adding and subtracting, and notice that A goes across, and these are the same examples. In fact, if I read this, I'd read them the same way. 8 tenths centimeters plus what is 1 centimeter? 8 tenths centimeters plus what is 1 centimeter? You read them the exact same way in fraction and decimal form. And so you have to fill in the missing part there. I won't belabor that. Um, and here you're just doing matching. Um, and I'm not sure if this is a tricky one. Sometimes they have tricky ones where things match in a multiple way. No, this one's very straightforward. Okay, so it's three tenths in a unit form. You have three tenths, and then there they did this one for you. Three tenths in fraction, three tenths as a decimal. Just finish the rest of it there. Oops, went too far. Okay, and now here's the exit ticket. Um, so you're gonna fill in the blank. This is the same as what we just did up above. Um, so I won't go into that. And then again, there's another little matching chart with turns the same numbers, and uh, you do the same thing there. Then you get to the homework, and for the homework, you should go to homework time, but you notice just flipping through the homework quickly, it's actually identical to the problem set. So there we are. You did it. Happy you, happy me, happy world. You'd gone and done it again. You completed another Eureka math lesson. Go on, take a break, get a glass of water, go outside, get some sunshine.